and like to learn a little bit about <laughs> about you. Please introduce yourself and let us know who you are. My name's Doris. <laughs> I live in a trailer park in North Texas. I'm looking for a man, a big hunky man. What are um, some of activities that you like to do? Smoking cigarettes in my lunch chair. And sometimes going to the demo derby. That's where I meet most of my guys, but that's got to change. Because they have no teeth or personalities. What are some of your passions in life? Smoking cigarettes? Drinking beers? Um, trying not, get a, trying not to get evicted or hit by a tornado. That helps too. What is your idea of a perfect date? Going to the bar, getting drunk, waking up in somebody else's trailer for once because mine sucks. Okay. Uh, your favorite ice cream? I like choco chip with a little bit of rum. <laughs> if there's anything else you would like to share, were other members to see and let them know something about you, what would it be? Mom, I want to say something. I got really nothing to say. Um, go Texas. Okay. Um, I want to thank you, Doris. And um, sometimes the members like to know about your best friends. I got a best friend named Bernice. She comes out and some comes. Hold on. <coughs> Cigarettes. I'm sorry. Sometimes she comes over and smokes with me, or sometimes I go over there. But uh, it really depends on the day. Because their, their trailer is bigger than mine, so we got more stuff to do. That's about it. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Well, hello. I'd like to welcome you and have you tell us a little something about yourself. Well. Like your name. I'm Bernice. Doris's <laughs> best friend in the whole world. Uh, who's Doris? That oh. hot chick right over there. <laughs> what? Can you tell me what you're looking for I'm in a look man? I'm looking for a man that's sensitive, likes to take long walks on the beach, and likes to smoke Marlboro Lights. Because I'm asthmatic. I can't smoke those regular Marlboro Reds anymore. You. Uh, what do you like to do on a rainy day? Well, I know Doris likes to come to my trailer, but hers is a lot smaller and more cozy and, and quaint, and and it's 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 easier to fill up with smoke while watching General Hospital. <laughs> do you remember the name? of your first pet you ever had? My very first pet, everybody thinks was Rocco, but I had this little pet mouse that I called Fifi that lived under my bed when we lived in the projects. I used to steal table scraps and bring it to my bed at night so I could throw it under the bed and feed Fifi. Great. Uh, if you won a million dollars, what would you do with it? I'd buy a bunch of cigarettes because it's, it's getting expensive. To buy a cotton's like 60 bucks now. And then I got to replace Doris's kiddie pool because I stood up in it the other day and I broke the side. She's like bullshit about it. I suppose it's better than breaking the lawn chair though. We've had them forever. Uh, what's your idea of a perfect date? Well, I know Doris likes to go to the, uh, the, the demo derby, but I prefer the roller derby and, and karaoke nights. I do a mean dancing queen. Can you give us a little sample? Uh, I, I, I really can't do it in front of you, but you know I, I need to be on stage and, and, and have a couple of cocktails in me. Well, uh, just a snippet. Our members would really like to see just... Dancing Queen! How's that? 
No, a little bit more. No, I, I really can't. I don't. I haven't had it. I haven't had any any beer today. Um, you got a shot? What are the What are the qualities that you're looking for uh, in a relationship? Well, he's got to be big. You know, I don't like these. I don't like these little guys. They they just they don't they can't satisfy me. They just nothing to hold on to. You know. You know, I used to be, you know, about 450, and I down to a stealth 250. Let's go, I am all day. Stop it, Doris. I, I got to buy get, a pack of Newport. Let's I, go. I didn't get on your case when you were doing yours. The trailer park's not going anywhere. You never know. It's There's no tornado it. warning. Stop it. See, she's not sensitive, guys. Take me. Buy I'm me my poor asshole. Getting, getting back to you. Yes, dear. What are a few of your favorite things? Well, I did love that kiddie pool. But I got this, I got this, 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 this big, um, I don't know how you call it. It's, uh, I, I guess it's Bonnie, isn't it? It's that big purple dinosaur thing that we got on the coffee table that you burnt its eye out of. Isn't it? Wasn't that Bonnie? Sure, whatever you say. I don't know. It was a purple dinosaur. I just love that thing. I cuddle up with it at night when I don't have a man to warm up to. You know, some of those nights in, in, in Texas can get kind of cold. Everybody thinks it's hot, but it's not. What's that? Is that your kitty? Uh, no, that's, uh, Doris doesn't want anybody to know, but that's her kid. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for now. Hey. Anything, what, yes? No, go ahead. Go Any, ahead. Anything else you'd like to say? <laughs> Take me back to West Canaan. Okay, well, thank you for sharing a little bit about yourself. Uh, what was it, Bernice? Bernice. I told Doris before we started this whole thing it would have been easier to become lesbians. Okay, great. Now, thank you so much for your time.